Hi everybody, it's Mr. Gray here. Thank you again for a fantastic week. As usual, we're very busy. Um, next week, the big announcement is about the field trip on Wednesday. We are going to the OCC Planetarium with Miss Kelly's and Mrs. Borden's class, um, that their fifth grade class is. And so we'll be gone for much of the day on Wednesday. We'll leave a little before nine o'clock and we'll come back right around noon. Um, and that is going to be a great field trip. The kids are going to love it. The only big change is that there will be no snack that day. So there won't be a recess for the kids to take a little break and eat. Um, and the bus definitely does not like us having food or drinks on the bus for obvious reasons. And so um, it's a good day to have a big breakfast, maybe to have a little snack right before we go into class in the morning, uh, just to help sustain you all the way through lunch. Um, as far as anything else goes, the other, only other small announcement I have is that makeup picture day will be November 4th. Um, if you're absent on the first day, that's the day you can get uh, dressed up or ready on that day is November 4th. Uh, for reading next week, we're going to be doing a novel study of the book Tuck Everlasting. We're going to study about analyzing characters and themes and the choices that the author made. Uh, but our big goal is going to be to practice being in a little group, in a book club, um, and how to constructively participate and to be prepared and to um, add to the book club and the ideas that are being um tossed around there. So that should be fun. I think the kids will have a good time and it's a really good book. Uh, I didn't get to start Holes last week, so I'm hoping to start it this week. Um, if, if not this week soon, um, I'm just kind of trying to move some things around, but hopefully we'll get it going pretty soon here. Uh, in writing, the kids are finishing up their buddy stories. They wrote, they, uh, they uh, questioned their buddies and they kind of investigated about them uh, and found out some things. And then they wrote a story to uh, kind of exemplify some of those features of their buddy uh, in an exciting way. So the buddies will really like that. We're going to give it to them next Friday, but they're going to finish that up this week and then uh, give it to them. And then they're going to start. We have a little bit of time before we start our next unit. So we're going to uh, take a little break for a creative writing break. So they're pretty much done with their buddy stories, maybe just to finish things up a little bit. Uh, and then they're going to start a creative writing story and then also publish it by the end of the week. So that'll be uh, a fun little change of pace. In math, uh, we're still working on decimals, numbers, and base 10. We're going to review some different division uh, strategies uh, and some other decimal operations and comparing decimals. Uh, in social studies, the kids are making a website in a group about how the new settlers in America faced competition between the other countries, conflict with Native Americans, and also cooperation with Native Americans. Uh, in science lab with Mrs. DeMarco, uh, the kids, and also in, in my class, are going to be studying what happens when substances undergo a chemical change and some examples of that. We are doing some spelling work before we start our next big unit uh, for language. And so for the next couple of weeks, the kids will get a spelling list and they'll have to do a little bit of practice and then they'll have a spelling test. So next week, they actually have a spelling test on Monday. It's right away because we're doing a pretty easy list um, that is just to get our feet wet and kind of understand how the system goes. And then next week on Thursday, they'll get a new list and the Thursday after uh, they will have that spelling test. So um, that's going on. They're going to be um, hanging out with their buddies next week, like I said, uh, and exchanging the stories they made for them. It's kind of like a gift that they're giving to the buddies. Uh, the kids are working on a board game project, which you'll hear more about, I'm sure. Uh, in a few weeks, they'll present their board games to the other two APIS classes. Um, and then we may end up doing some more mile run practice. This week, we did mile run practice where the kids' goal was to run. And by run, I mean basically just do anything other than walk, even a very slow jog counted. And so they tried to make that for four minutes. And so many students were able to make it the, for the four minutes, some didn't, but everybody's goal is to do a little bit more than last time. Um, and that is gonna, we'll, we'll keep adding to that. In a couple of weeks, we'll do five minutes and then six minutes. Um, and then we're kind of approaching where some, some of the students are getting close to doing a whole mile at that point. Maybe they're like three quarters of the way done. So. Um, that's coming up during the week, maybe on Tuesday. And um, other than that, it should be a really great week. Busy five full days again. And then we're going to be all the way into November, believe it or not, um, at the end of next week. So thank you again for all of your support, for sending in donation money, for field trip. If you haven't done that, you can still send it. It's a huge help. It makes us very excited to continue going on field trips uh, in the future. Um, and thank you again for a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <music>